What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious. You guys are the 11 crew and welcome back to my Infiniverse world. All right guys, we have our third member going into uh, the hall over here. We got Griffith, Legit History, and now we got Mr. Sunfire SG. Uh, a link will be in the description to his channel, but I just wanted to say a big thank you to him. Uh, he's always supported me since I've met him, whether it's on Twitter, or whether it's leaving comments in a video, whether it's giving me ideas, suggestions, uh, but he's always around and he's always helping me out. So a huge thank you to him, Mr. Sunfire SG. Go take a look at his channel. He's awesome. He's really awesome at what he does. Uh, anyway, that being said, let us go to uh, what we're going to be working on today. And if you guys saw, I don't remember if it was my, I don't remember if it was my update video or my uh, 10 things to make Minecraft better. You, you know how I like to do like the little background for my world as I'm just kind of doing some stuff. Well, one of them showed this right here, which is my kelp farm or one of my two that is broken. Now I could take the time to fix it. Uh, cause this one's actually fixed. Oh, did I just see? Hold on. Oh, I did. Oh, I did. I saw this whole, whoa, what the hell was that? I've never seen that in my entire life. What, what just happened? Why did that horse just split into friggin' four? All right, forget it. Now they're all dying. I was going to take the horse as a pet and I was going to feed him. But you know what? Now they can all die. Is that is that normal? Is that like a thing? Where the horses just multiply? Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Oh look, and I still get one. Wait, he's automatically my horse? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we are already have one. But I don't think he likes me very much. I don't know if I can actually ride him. So we'll just put this one in there. Okay, there we go. So now we got two of the skeleton horses, which is great. Back to what we were doing. Okay, so I could take the time to fix this and uh, and do this one, which I think I actually am going to change this one up a little bit because now that things float, if you guys remember, at the time when I built this, we didn't have the mechanics for uh, items to float yet, and now they can. So I can I can adjust that a little bit. So I don't know if I'm going to actually do that one today with this one. It depends on how long this takes. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a sea pickle farm. Should be kind of cool. And also while I was out, I was actually out getting coral, right? Right before I was recording this. It took me two hours. I could not remember where the the coordinates for, uh, like when we, when we did the fish, when we collected the fish. Although I, now that I think about it, I could have just watched the video again. But <laughs> I digress. Damn it. Uh, but I got a, a few things of coral, right? I got some sea pig, some more sea pickles. I already had some, but look, I got sea turtle eggs. So I found two turtles. Uh, I had no idea how to breed them. I tried everything. I had taken some uh, some shears with me. I saw some seagrass because I killed a couple and I got seagrass. So I said, okay, I'll try seagrass. So I, the seagrass actually ended up working, which is great. I should have ended up just watching a video on them, but you guys know I like to find stuff out on my own. Uh, and then, thank goodness I brought these uh, Silk Touch with me. Because I figured the Silk Touch I needed for the coral. But they also work for the sea turtle eggs. So, I don't know what to do with those. We're going to make a little farm out of it. But I don't know if you just plant them, if you have to do something else to it. I'm going to try putting them down. Because the sea, <clears throat> sea pickles have kind of the similar uh, characteristic. Where they you can have like four on one block. And uh, bone meal works on those. I'm going to try to bone meal it. I don't know if that's going to help at all. I don't know. We'll figure it out together uh, coming up. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and take down this because what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to completely redo it. But the good thing is I get all of these mine carts back. Okay, so now that that's cleared out, all right, what I'm going to do is take some of the take some of these hoppers. You know what I was just about to say. I cleared the, I picked up the minecart with hoppers with my silk touch. I don't know why we can't pick them right back up the same way. That's kind of frustrating. I don't know, maybe that's just me. That's, I, I think it's really frustrating. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this. Now, I have no idea if this is going to work. This is not something I've tested out before. 
this is just something I've been trying to do less things that like I, I pre-plan out. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I forgot about that. I'll just throw that there. There we go. Um, the good thing is once I get two going, I should be okay. There we go. Right. Let's put that. Oh, no, no, no. Let's put, let's put that there. Okay, cool. Sweet. Now I should just be able to go back in there and grab that. Okay, now ideally, ideally this is going to work. I have no clue if it's true or not. But I was, I was told that they actually fixed the coral. The coral for the longest time uh, in the beta when I had it. Even if there was water behind it, it would turn it would turn dead. That's why I never used it before now. It would just die. So now it seems as though it seems as though it's fine. So we'll we'll see. Alright, so we'll put that there. I also got some blue. Right, I mean might as well make it look a little pretty. And then I guess we'll go one more one more with the yellow. Yeah, yeah, that'll be cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So now what we're going to do uh, is I'm thinking if we just alternate these, right? If we just alternate those, it should be okay. Right? I, I imagine that should be, that should be good. Hmm. Or should I have done it the other way? No, this way is better because this way has five growing spots. The other way I'll do it will only have four. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. So, whoops, sorry. What I'm going to do now is I think I can cover pretty much all of this up. Like that, I, I don't really think that there's a need to see it, right? I can just cover all of that up. Um, put a switch. Oh. Yeah, I should be able to cover all of that up, put a switch in the middle. I wonder, wonder if I can do two. No, pro I, probably, I probably won't be able to do two, right? I wonder if I could do two rows of this. I didn't even think about that until just now. I mean, I do need I do need area for the water. All right, let me let me just uh, let me just see if I can get two rows, because that'll be awesome if I could double up on the. Because I mean, I have the height. Yeah, let me let me figure this out. Okay, so this is what I came up with, right? So I managed to get more uh, more. Uh, what is that coral there? with water behind it. So now all we got to do is put the sea kelp on there, right? Bounce up again, hold on. There we go. Uh, the sea kelp on there. Like right there, perfect. And yeah, that's that looks good. So the only issue is going to be the same one I had with the kelp farm, which is getting uh, this the dispensers filled up. That's the only issue I had last time. Although, if I don't put glass, I think I can do it here. But I kind of want to. I kind of want to add the glass. Yeah, I think I have to add the glass. Right, just like that. Cool. Now we have to add, hook up the trigger up there. Or hook up the, uh, not trigger, you know what I mean. This right here. Now we just got to hook that up.
Okay, so we're up top, all right? That's going to be this block right here. Okay, so that will be this one. All right, so that's on. Now what I have to do is determine where the where the stuff is. So, okay, so it's this row right here, right? And can I go behind it or no? This one has water, right? Yeah, see, this is water behind it. Okay, so I just got to figure out. Yeah, so I just got to figure out exactly. Nope, I don't need that one. Exactly how big it is, right? I think it's just, yeah, I don't need that one either. Cool, cool, cool. And then there's water underneath that, so we're gonna have to. Whoops, we're gonna have to come one out, and then it should work. So first things first. Um, what we're gonna do is put that. Put that there, right? Put. Oh no, nope. Mm -mm. I know we got to do. I know we got to do. We got to add a little, uh, a little clock, a little timer. Where is it? Here we go. All right, let me let me play around with some stuff really quick, and I'll show you what I mean when I come back. Okay, so there's a little hopper clock. What I actually ended up using is one of the uh, the bows that I killed. Remember the when all those <laughs> when all those horses. Uh, split up and turned into uh, the jockeys okay so we take a comparator signal out of that over here put that um, the piece of dust underneath that which is going to power these two then we have torches here which should power everything else okay so that should be fine although do I need to do it that way or should I do it you know what let's get rid of the torches I don't know if the torches are smart or if we should end up using repeaters instead, only so the pistons are not extended all the time. We'll play around with it. We'll see if, if, if we need, if the timing is off, we'll put the torches back. Okay. And then what we're going to do, let's just break out some of this right here. And now we have to make sure we keep it one back because of the water obviously right so this one we can't do because of the water but we could go one underneath so really quick what I'm just gonna do is oh let's keep that just so I always remember where they are I'm just gonna put these right here like that right And then we can go, I think we can go down another, whoops. I think we can go down another one right here. Right, so let's see. Yeah. And then they're all, and then they're all right there. So that's cool. So the only thing we'd have to do then is put repeaters here. Right. We just need something here with dust on it. So I'll we'll just go like that, All right? Oops. Get ourselves some dust going all the way across, like so. Actually, I could even use uh, instead of using repeaters, since I have a lot, I can just use observers. Hmm. Now nah, you know what? Because then I have the water to deal with. Nah, let's just let's just keep it as repeaters for now. That's fine. Uh, so then what we'll do is we'll put a block here right with a torch coming out onto that well I guess that really doesn't matter hmm. there we go that's all we need we just need it one way Yep, that's kind of cool. Let's 
just get rid of this really quick. And then what we're going to do is bring, yeah, bring that across, right? I guess it doesn't matter for that. Same thing over here, bring that across. And now we can actually fill, now we can actually fill these for now. And what we could do, we can even do a, uh, we can even do a hopper with chests on top to fill these bad boys up. Huh. Right, because, yeah, these are the dispensers. So we can go there, 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 and there. We actually don't need these filled in. Right, so you can go like that. I get more. And then we'll just put chest on top and that will take care of those. I wish there was a way, I can't because I was about to say, I wish there was a way I could just fill it up from there. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Give me a sec guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come right back and see if there's a way that I can have a hopper line going across where I can fill it up from the bottom and just run if I put a chest on the bottom down there, right, fill it up, use a dispenser line up here, and I can f put in the bone meal that way. I don't, I don't think I can. I can do it here. That's not an issue. This one is fine. It's the ones underneath, and I, I don't think there's any way I go about doing it. No, there isn't. There isn't. So in that case, we're not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. All right, let's, uh, let me go get some bone meal and we'll give this bad boy a test. Okay, here we go. Take number three. So I put all the water in there. So uh, actually, let me make sure there's still bone meal. Yeah, there is. The bottom is not going. Ah, uh, is that because... I think that's because that leaks water. Did we get any? Huh. I think, I think this leaks water. I think that's what it is. But. Huh. If I have. If I have the water up here now. Do I need the water behind? All right, back to the drawing board again. All right, guys. So this thing has gone through so many, uh, so many changes. So uh, let's see if it works. Here we go. I had to get rid of the glass because I realized. All right, well, we're getting some. I had to get rid of the glass because I realized that all the stuff was floating up, and for some reason, the bottom ones. They're just not going. But we got a decent amount on the top. So that's not that's not too bad. 37, let's say. 39. Wow, and we got 40 in there. Plus, I already had some. Look at all of this. Alright, that's decent. I just have to figure out why these bottom ones are not going. And I think think it's because of the setting so I changed it up a lot so I'll come over here and show you if I don't get killed uh, no yeah I changed it up as you can see I changed it up a whole lot like a lot a lot a lot so let's just come in here really quick I think it's because of this I had it on that and I think I have to put it on two before I do all of them, let's make sure this one works. Two should be good enough. Right? Uh, we can just jump on oh, no. can we jump off this one? Yeah, we can. So let's see if uh, let's see if that one works on the bottom. No, it's not working. We need the ones on the top. I mean we need we need to just just change it to one. Or maybe not. Hold on. Actually maybe. Maybe I don't even have to change it to one. Maybe I just got to put it. All right. Let's see how one, let's see how one works. If one works fine, 
then uh, then that's what I'll do it at. I keep it. I'll keep them on with that, and we will call it uh, an episode. Let's see if I flick it. Yeah, so one works okay. Although I don't know if. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, there is something coming out of there. All right, cool. Yeah, so we're. Ju I'm just gonna change all of those, all of those to one. How many more pickles did I get? <laughs> this is working really nice, and that that looks good. So I'm gonna keep the top off, okay? So I, I, just because I can jump up there and gather all the pickles very very easily uh, that way, and I'm not obviously I'm obviously not gonna have this thing go like when I'm not there. So I'll just let it run for a little bit, maybe do some sheep shearing, come back, and then I could jump up and gather everything. But it works really well. I mean, we started with, I think, 10 pickles overall, maybe 12. And we got all of that plus the ones that are in there. So it's a success. It works. I'm, I'm calling this a success. I'll change all the timings around. And then next time I'll do that. And maybe I'll do a challenge too. I do have some challenges. So maybe I'll do a challenge and then we'll save the, uh, we'll save the turtle farm for afterwards. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Until next time, Captain Ivis out. Peace.